This is a Maytag MCT Centennial Dryer. And when you put a load in into this dryer, it's drying, but it just keeps going. No automatic shutoff is happening. You look at the timer, the timer is not moving. So easy to diagnose, the timer needs to be replaced. And so that's why today I'll be showing you how to replace a timer on a Maytag MCT Centennial Dryer. Okay, so your model number will be on the back of your dryer. You want to check that, and then when looking up for the timer as a part, you want to make sure the timer that you buy matches that model number of this Maytag dryer. Now you can go to Maytag, their appliance parts section, but it's usually direct from the distributor a lot more money than if you look out on Amazon or other parts stores for the part. And again, looking at that model number, you see that timers for Maytag, Whirlpool, they sometimes cross over, and so that makes it a lot more reasonably priced to buy a timer. Amazon, though they are horrible overlords of us, they do have better prices from third-party uh, reliable appliance parts. So I did get that replacement part timer. I'll put that down. First things first, before doing anything, of course, unplug the dryer from the wall. Don't need to get shocked, uh, or worse, die. Uh, and then, you know, just remove the button that uh, is where the timer's at, and then you can see how absolutely disgusting things have gotten under that button, so make sure you clean out all that dust. Now you're going to go to the back of the console and you're going to see that there are screws just like this, six of them, along that back of the console, and you're going to remove those. Take your drill, you're going to use a one fourth inch drill bit of this uh, screw size, and just go at it. So once you remove all the screws, you'll be able to pull up on this portion of the console to remove this part out. Then you can see here, this is where the timer's at, all the connections to the timer. A lot of cords here, so in advance what you want to do is to make sure uh, we have technology now. Go ahead and take a photo of this, that way you have it for when you're pulling everything out and putting in the new timer and that you're putting the cords into the right place. So now you see I've removed these and that's what you continue to do, remove those connectors from the timer. So I already started to connect some from the old timer into the new timer, but sometimes uh, some of these have feel much tighter, a little bit more secure, so to move that out of the way. So. I'll need to take a flathead screwdriver, just kind of put it in behind there, and then start to push it out. And so, yeah, that little extra security they provide actually makes it real tight when you're just trying to remove it with your hand. Again, this last part really securely in there, too. So, getting that flathead helped in getting this last part out to put then into the timer, the new timer. So yeah, kind of awkward positioning here, but the same type of one fourth inch screws are what connect the timer to the dryer. So you're going to go ahead and remove that old timer using that. So you'll position the new timer in with the screws. I actually just manually put them in because that way I can hold from the left side uh, the nosy part, which um, you know, is where the button that we pulled off to begin with starts at. This one a little tighter than we imagined, so we'll go ahead and drill it through. And yeah, so manually put it in, and then for added measure, let's drill it right down into there. So again, the timer feels nice, securely in, so we can go ahead and put that console back in. So you want to start by putting the lower portion, the silvery part, into its grooves, lining it up with where the drill holes are at, before then putting it underneath the white upper portion. So now we've pushed it back down into where it needs to be. All the drill holes are lined up. And just finishing it up. Continuing to just tighten that console. So now, dear, we plug in our old friend Maytag MCT Centennial. Let's go ahead and do it, test out this timer. As you can see, I just be prepared. You're obviously going to go into weird spaces for your body with where your dryer is. Might have tweaked an oblique muscle, and that's why I'd rather just stay in this position to film at this point. Okay, so let's 
give it a shot, hit the on button, the dryer is going, and then if I were to move that timer all the way down to off, hey, it turns off, which is great. That is the major improvement from what was happening before, where it would have just stuck at that 20 minute forever. So, timer's replaced, new timer, wonderful, don't have to worry about anything else with this dryer, it'll keep working well. Well, hey, hey, I'm back. If uh, you enjoyed this video, please do like it, have any comments, uh, feel free to leave them below, and do subscribe to the channel. More how-to videos from me where I hopefully do not injure my back any further as, uh, you know, appliance issues arise in my home.